Okay, guys, so let's continue for our today class. Uh, we're going to continue from the point where we left started, right? So the next step is creating MongoDB. Basically, creating database in your MongoDB, right? So we use our cloud database, MongoDB Atlas, right? So MongoDB, you can go there. Just log in, right? So I'm going to sign up with google basically that's what smile use right so let's do that okay so now right here i i created database okay already i mean what you can do is just click on this bar here right and on because there is so many files uh, basically database new project and just go through right so you can give the name of your project in my case i have added e-commerce okay this e-commerce right if you create a new project and the you know like select the cluster and all that right free clusters so we have done that one okay finally you will reach here the only thing is make sure you get your password right so Let's say you miss somehow, somewhere, miss the password. Okay, what you're going to do is database access here. Look at this. And this admin, right? Or whatever the username you have given to your database, you can edit and edit password. You can get the password from here also and update, right? So I have the password already copied. Okay, I will not do anything. That is one thing. And network access makes your network access ip address is 000 so i think you guys have difficulty before also when you add some ip address you will be not able to connect right remotely okay so that's why you must make it 000 edit and you can just you know remove and make it like 000 right ip address and save okay done so that is all you have to do so next thing is how you access the connection right for your database so go to the database here on the top this one okay and connection string click on this connection string right and copy this and the password i said to copy from right so the password you need and you need this connection string okay uh, so just copy that one and save it somewhere in your computer and password from here right database access so when you giving up when you are generating a password make sure you copy the password while creating this uh, account right so I, I named it e-commerce so let's go and check something right here browse collection so Amazon is the name of the database I mean this is my project right e-commerce is a project my database name will be amazon and there i have one products basically not one product but one collection right products right now i have one collection called products and these are the document of this collection product so what i will do i'm just going to delete this whole collection right for now and i will just type here name of the collection products right products and drop it okay fine so i don't have amazon everything is gone right i have my project e-commerce when you create projects there is i don't have any uh, database and i don't have any collection so once you finish here right let's uh, start installing the so i have look at here right i just copied this one okay and also i have password fine Next step is install Prisma, right? So let's do that. npm install Prisma. Uh, yeah, I'm in the right folder. Yes. npm install Prisma, right? Install that. So once the Prisma is installed, next step is npx initialize the prisma so npx prisma in it right in it okay so 
after running this command it will give us few things dot env file right and the prisma folder with a schema for us right to write a schema the file to write a schema right here so prisma says right okay i'm the orm object relation mapping software right prisma is a object relation mapping software it means it will map your database and establish the connection uh, help you to connect with your tables uh, creating the uh, object like adding the data getting the data and all that things right basically relation means what help you communicate with your database okay so it says okay which database you want to use provider mongodb right okay then says put this name in your environment variable and give me the link url for your database so let's go to the environment variable so we have this for post uh, that is for postgres i believe yeah postgres right you know the prisma will give you automatically right so i'm just gonna copy that and remove this one okay and then bring the one i copied from so i'll just copy this add here right see that so this will be my database name amazon right amazon in my project e-commerce amazon will be my database name and then each schema right each schema will be the table you know the 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 collection right so we done uh, i mean we i can first i need to add a schema then i'm gonna connect uh, basically like push it right so next step is adding schema so let's go and get the schema from here okay so npx prisma db push after adding this schema right so i'll just copy that schema and i'll explain now right just look at this product model product right that's how you create a schema in mongo uh, in the prisma right id so there is two different ways remember the which data type you are using right basically which data you are using that depends on that uh, not type but data so let's call it prisma mongodb and mongodb right so it will give you some guideline okay how to basically create right the id and all that okay what are the difference between maybe like you using postgres or mysql or sql lite mongodb right so they have sli slight difference in creating a schema for example id right id will be in this format okay so you're gonna use a string or maybe uh i uh let's call it init like int right integer you give the id this id means at the rate id means this will be unique value in database right in your table always there is one field which is unique number okay so we have to add this right let's keep it like that and then you put the default value auto increment auto right and then you have to map it because see this name right this may name does not match with our mongodb id because mongodb generates this one okay so we are saying right okay underscore id is equal to this id right map underscore id means this id is nothing but underscore id from our mongodb and db object id right i mean this is just the syntax you know what we have to follow right and then you put all your remaining fields so let's look at all the fields right let's go through that so we have name slug that will be unique also right uh, category image so image is an array okay remember that a string of array of a string so that's how you write right brand is a string description is a string stock is the int right uh stock is a number okay fine that is int price is a string because sometimes you get point something something the rating is a string uh norm review is integer right that is just a number boolean is featured there is true or false banner is a string maybe 
Sometimes you have banner, sometimes you don't, right? So this is optional. So if something is optional, then you have to make a uh, just put question mark, right? I mean, sometimes you may get banner, sometimes you don't, right? So that is optional. Okay. Created at, uh, you know, this is date time, it will be automatically generated, right? All these things. So these are the fields we're going to provide, right? Up to here. If we look at our data, you know, from study, right? Uh, where is that? In the leave. See, name, slot, category, image is the array of a string, and price is. A uh, string brand is a string rating is a string uh, num review is number stock is number description is string right that is all we need correct yeah we have like a featured that is boolean and uh, i think banner right banner is also a string so we got i mean the banner see we have somewhere and we don't have here right so that is optional okay the question mark Fine. So we have schema ready now. So next step is npx prisma db push. And let's see what happened, right? So it will ask you to allow, right? First time, okay? Allow it. And then it generates the prisma client. That's okay. Everything, everything happens, right? So let's go back and refresh the uh, our mongodb database and see what happened right so in the collection you can see amazon amazon right amazon database with product okay product right why is that i think i did something wrong uh, because i want not okay i forgot here right because i want you know like normally right in the table what happens is uh, your schema is product. You want to have like table with something like this products, right? This is the naming convention, okay? When your schema is your schema always with start with capital letter with singular, right? But your table will be a ruler, okay? With S with a small letter, right? So how we can create that? Uh, that should be, I think, uh, at the rate uh map right and then we're gonna give the name okay products like that fine products right so this is what we have to have so let's delete this again and then try right or yeah a m a z o n because there is no data it will allow us to drop it right okay and then we're going to go back and run that command again npx prisma db push and uh, i think it should work right so now refresh so we have Am amazon and with products here right so every time when you create a schema in MongoDB, right, make sure you add it. Even in the uh, Postgres also, just add it this one, right? So that this follow the proper like design pattern, you know. Your schema will be in capital, start with capital letter, singular, and this will be small letter, plural, right? The table name. Clear? So, okay, fine. So let's continue now. What is the next thing we're going to do? Now let's load the data, right? Seeding, okay? So, uh, okay, so I think in our Prisma, I, I forgot to write, right, here. In our Prisma, before that, okay, we're going to create, you know, like, let's create the, uh, what do you call that? client right so prisma client i mean there is a remember i think i talked about that before right so uh, next yes next yes prisma client okay because you know the next yes has hot reloading right keep reloading all the times when you in the development process 
and you want to avoid that right you don't want to make your connection database connection keep uh, connecting all the time right when you have next yes uh, you know like reloading right so to avoid that we use they said okay just use this uh quote right so it will avoid if there is a connection already available in the global it will use that one right it will only make connection if there is no connection okay so this code will do all that job and then we have available connection called prisma right this one because we are exporting from here and then we use this connection to establish basically get our uh module right model okay or connect to our model yes let's copy that we're going to call it client okay you can call it db.ts or maybe client right so here client.ts i will just put it in this prisma okay i can add it in the leave also where is our leave here right let's leave it in the prisma and put that code that is all we have to do done so next step uh let's see next step is i will close this we don't need any more seeding like we're going to load the data right so in our prisma again here in the folder prisma i will create a file called seed right seed.ts and copy whole code right so what this code is doing right it imports the prisma client from client from this client right because i just said this will help us to connect to our database prisma client will gonna do that then also we import our data sample data right then we just write asynchronous function and call it main function await prisma.product right create many so we create many objects now right inside our prisma product table right so okay let's see one thing right yeah that is fine we're getting that product okay it will create many tables the only thing is we have to pass the data right look at this data when you're creating at many tables right and then it will accept the data okay the data will be sample data dot products so sample data has what products right if you look at this sample data sample data dot products and map through that data mapping right so we are just doing the map we get each product and then each product is what each product has name slog category image uh brand description stock price rating uh number of review is featured banner created all these things right we have to pass okay i mean this will generate automatically right uh, but I just added, I don't know if it, it will generate not, but let's leave it for now, right? This this will just happen one time, okay? It will create, once it create, uh, you know, like, once we are here, right? It will return object. Then we're going to go async, await Prisma, disconnect. Means once you finish creating, right? Whatever object you return, disconnect from there, okay? No more creating again, right? If there is some error, you can display the error, right? That is all this is doing. And how you run this code so you just have to run this command right uh, let's see this is the command so npx in your project folder right because we are using typescript so you call npx tsx right uh, tsx and then where is your seed file in the prisma right so dot uh, colon i mean same folder dot slash right uh dot means we are in the main root folder okay like next e-commerce right so we're gonna call prisma now P R I S M A prisma in the root folder slash prisma slash seed file name is seed right and then enter uh, we have seed right seed.ts yeah i think that should work let's try okay so i don't see anything it should ask some question right hopefully it worked let's see if that worked right we're gonna go back here and refresh okay yeah 
yeah so now you see id is there underscore id there is a name slog category array of image like in the array you have two images right the address of image okay then you have stock description everything added right so just doing this manually maybe take 30 minutes but we have done in five two minutes right that's good so we can i think uh we can commit now right set up that um, uh, set up a mongodb database let's commit this okay git add uh one thing you know maybe uh, let's see when you have dot env file that makes sure in the git ignore you try to ignore here right so dot env so that this file will be not uploaded in your github so let's do it again git add git commit dash m and i will put the command right set up mongodb database and schema and all that so git post okay so let's continue so what is the next step now load products from home from database right so the first thing is in our lib action right so inside the lib let's create a folder called actions and create a file product.action right sorry guys my phone let me turn off so we can do that uh, in our lib folder right here now now we're gonna you know like work through like we have the data right in the database we're going to display that that is the point now right so here we can write some uh some like what do you call that function right to get data okay which will be useful everywhere so i will have this uh leave and then we have what what is the name accent right accents accent only and then product dot product dot accent right so we're gonna have file called product product dot action yes right so first thing how we gonna uh no no here how we gonna get all data right so you know i mean we can write it but let's let's copy right just make it quick okay so we all know to connect our database we're going to need prisma import prisma from at the rate prisma client okay this is the prisma client which we, we have already created right inside the prisma client okay from here we are getting our prisma client good then just get all latest product right let's get out all latest product how many you want maybe four or five right so let's keep it four for now right or, or maybe five we have five products so we can keep it five so in your home page right you want to display all the latest product okay and that's why order by so look at find many right and in the bracket in the bracket your first object called order by and created at descending order right so the last one okay whatever last five give me that one right take five second properties take that is five and return data right so once you have the data you can return that that's it so this function should give me all the product right fine that is the first step now i'm going to use that so let's go back uh so in our app right in the root uh let's delete this i mean we are not using this app about uh, right let's delete, delete that for now in the page here see we are displaying all the data right uh from product list so here we are not using any things any data we are not using so let's go back where is our data now in the component right in the shared and product a uh, product list i believe we have the data here see we have data here right data 
so what i will do i'm gonna just call my function see i'm using this data for now right i'm just gonna call my function import get all i mean get latest product right uh, yeah so this is name export okay if you look at export only no default right so that's why it will be inside the curly bracket fine so this function will get me data right so now here now i have to make this function async because remember i'm dealing with the network call right async function and i will remove this and i will say await and call this function get latest data okay so we know right this function is returning something look at here it's returning the data this is just the array right this returning uh i think this will this will return object or array i don't know but let's check right what it is returning so it should give us something here okay so if that length so i believe that is array yes if that is the length i mean the length is greater than zero then run this div right with this command so you have grid data map each product and then product key will be slog whatever right uh, then then product uh, I mean, then you pass this product right to this product card, okay? And that product card gonna get the each object, and then you know they will read from the like name, titles, description, image, whatever, right? And put in your page. Fine. So let's run this code and see if this works. Uh, npm run dev, right? Okay, so we have everything now, right? You can see, okay, uh, things are working fine. So this latest product, why not the uh, latest product? We have this one, uh, I think, where is that? In our main page, right, in the root. Here. What I'm going to do, right, I'm going to maybe, I will put this in our, let's put this in our card itself, right? Let's try that. Let's see if you can do that. So, or maybe we can just add it here, right? Here, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's put S1. L A T E S T latest product, right? Products, maybe. I mean, we can even pass the data, right? We can pass, see, we are passing the props here to the card, okay? We can pass the title uh, and call it latest products. And then in our card right here, we're going to receive that titles. And then, uh, because this will be each card. No, 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 that, that's, here is okay. That's fine. So we can leave it like that. That's fine. That is okay. Still, you can see latest products, right? Okay, so we're done. Uh, we have finished first part, right? So let's upload that. I mean, basically commit that, right? Git add. M, and we can call it uh, uh, fetch data from or list or uh, maybe uh, display data from database right and call it what list or data is face okay page data from database and git push right so then now the final one we have a final thing left is to display when i click this now right see when i click this it will take me to the this log okay product slash see the route product slash this name right so i need to have product page and then this uh, dynamic route because this product is okay always there will be product right but this will be keep changing for every image okay the slog will be keep changing right so how we create dynamic route let's look at here so this is the root i mean this is the main right so here i will just add folder called product like that 
and inside product inside i'm gonna have curly bracket like this and call it slug right that's the name slug okay and then inside the slug we're gonna have page dot tsx right so that is all we need so if i you know like call it a react arrow function create export and let's call it product details right details okay page something like that uh you must put page here now check right let's go back uh, our server is not running so we must run the server npm run there and uh, now refresh this page i'll just refresh the same route and see what happened so still running maybe let's refresh one more time and see you can see the product details page right so i'm going to read this information and then i will pass to the function and that function will fetch me that data right from the database that's the point here okay so let's continue let's look at our document uh yeah so i mean you can see something different but uh, here right that's fine uh we can make this s2 like bold s2 bold uh here here s2 right so it depends where you add okay even if, even if you put in the product uh in the page right in the page then you have to pass as a uh, props okay so last name we have h2 dash gold already the you know utilities class we can use that let me close no need for now so create product detail space uh leave action product action right actions so let's see in the leave i think i keep it uh, there will be many functions right so why i keep it like only actions you can leave the same name does not matter let me make it similar to that so that i have to also change in my uh root right here no no where is that uh in the card right list where is card list actually so product actions okay if not it will give me error fine so close and no, no need and close this also so we're gonna work in like log page right but here we we have to write another function okay like get product with slug right so let's see the function is this one because this is name export you can add many functions right so we have not db but prisma okay next i will update that right somewhere i use db somewhere i use prisma right Okay, so okay, let me remove that. Uh, we're gonna put a slog, right? I think where. We're right log equal to slow okay that is all we need so basically what we are saying right get the product by slog we're going to pass this slog that slog is the remember in the link that text right this function will get that slog and then find first matching to that slog where slog is slog right I mean this is the same name so you can even write it something like you know destructure it like this right and it should work okay 
So for easy purpose, I will just write it slot. Fine. That is all right. So this function should work. Okay, so let's go back here. Uh yeah, so let's check now, right? What is the next thing? So we have the you know we have the function to get the product with the slug, that is fine. Now we're gonna need a badge, right? Badge to add in the product, like price and all everywhere, right? If we need to like make something cleaner, neater, we're gonna need a badge. So let's use that also. So that is sad cn, right? Sad cn. We have used badge in our uh, in issue tracker before, so same thing, okay? So here badge, I will just install it. npm, right? And install that. I'm gonna add new terminal, okay? It will install the badge. So now in the product, you know, like we remember what we're gonna do here, right? This is the design, uh, something like Excel is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like image here. Okay, this will be image, right? Let's say this is a div. Okay, this is one div, right? Where you have image, and then you you're gonna have like two images, right? A small small image here. Okay. So when you click this image, right? The this image will change. This image will change when you click on this. So we're gonna have a uh, use state use state right to get to update the index index of this in this is zero index and this is one index in our array because array has two index uh, two image right so index zero then first image index click on this second image we use use state to update the state and then based on that state this image will display that is first thing. Then we're gonna have another div here with like price and all the details right also okay and then maybe we're gonna have here the cart shopping cart and all that right okay so that's how this whole thing will be built up right uh let's continue okay let's let's look at the code so first let's try to build the image right product image okay so in the product shared product right we have the product already in the component shared yeah we have product right so we have product card product list now we're going to add product image okay so this image component we're going to do something for us right and what are the things i will explain just now so this is the image from the next image we have react right? import react of course when you create component uh, you have cn import cn from the utils to combine the class name and all that right so we're gonna do that product image right so export default function product image this will receive the image right it will receive the image okay and this image is what uh you have to define the type also right that is just the image of string because array image of basically array of string right this is nothing but an array which is where there is a string and in two string right like two element which has the path like slash uh assets slash images right you know like you're gonna see the path for our image correct inside the public uh where is our public assets slash images right and then there we have like easy p1 dash one p1 dash two right that's how we have two items in the array so react use state basically use state you can get like that or you can simply delete this and import here right import use state from react and then you don't need to put there right simply write that okay Clean. so current index of the image from this array or See, this is the array of image, okay? So, or the set current, right? What is the set current? Current index is zero. So, first image will be with zero index. Image current, right? That is zero index. So, when you page load, right, it will upload the first index. But now click. So, we just below that, just below this image, right? We're going to create two images by mapping through that image array, right? 
uh, so look at here this is the div the box right where you're going to display this image two image with width and height of 100 100 small image so what we're saying right okay when you click this image okay when you click this div right which is wrapping the image it will run on click function set current to index right so look at here we have you know when you click right because we are mapping okay you have image and index also when you map what you get each item of the array and you can also have index yes that index we're gonna update to our use state function right here this function will update the current image index that's it soon remember in the use state what i said when the state change it will also render the component which component is using this variable right so our image is using that variable this change index change it will automatically load the new image so that's how you're going to click and the image will change right so that is funny okay you're going to see that ha happening right so this is i think easy it should be easy to understand there is some classes you combining right and also some logic okay based on this logic you're going to have the border right okay so that is all is there like one div with the flex because you want to display like Im image in the one row right so you have flex and then the map so you have curly bracket because you're going to write some javascript inside you have a div and that div you're going to have the click button right like click event and inside the div you are displaying the image again right this image component okay you just image component you just pass the image right this image is what from here okay you map through this item right this image is the link you know like this uh will be slash assets slash maybe p1 dash one dot jpg right something like that okay so this is the address of the image okay and that address change here in the source based on this address the image is displaying right so image you have two time because this loop will gonna run two time because there is two image in the array right that's how things work okay? i think that is good enough to understand okay so we have image done right next thing is price okay let's because price sometimes you have dot something point a decimal point right so how you gonna in your how you're going to display the price right that is the only thing okay so we just create something to handle our price the component uh let's call it in our product here yeah let's add it here also price so this will be uh easy right look at here so we're going to send right when you call this function um, this is a component right when you call that we're going to send the value of whatever price we have we can send that and also maybe if there is some class right we can send that class also okay uh that's fine right so this class is optional you're going to receive the number price will be number right uh, price uh i think that is uh, i don't know what is that we have added in the string right so we'll see okay So once you receive that right then inside this function first we convert this value to a string i mean basically convert a string why because you're gonna include you will check that if like hundred dot something if there is dot right then then you know it will just return boolean okay true or false okay so int value and floating value right basically you can splitting okay let's do this uh, includes means it will just give you like a uh separation right int value the first value and second value uh, it should work like that right uh, we can try okay let's check right because let's see here console right so we have for example we have something 150.60 right like that dot to uh what was that not split but split what is the 
command right that includes right basically i use mostly split you know but let's see and dot right true so i mean basically it returns true and false right but when you do split uh what we get right we're gonna get array right something first value and second value okay so this now you destructure that array right the first value and second value you can destructure that but for now just we're just checking true and false right later and then you're gonna after you check if there is dot or no dot right you check that one then you're gonna split if that there is true value let's say this will return true right if there is dot you're gonna get true then you split that and then uh you know like if there is uh no dot i mean if there is dot you're gonna get array with the first value second value if no dot you're just gonna get this right in string value okay you just get one value that is all right so now after that you just return right with paragraph and dollar sign with int value the first value and if there is floating value right so just return that in that format okay dollar int value and then floating value so fine so that is what we're going to get right like just check and format the price this function will do the job you just have to send the price right wherever you call this function send the price it will do the job so that is done uh what is the next now right i think yeah so one more thing you know like in the product card right product card we're gonna use this okay let's import and try to use that right here because we have we have the we displaying the price also right here uh this one okay so we're gonna change that so import this function this is a component okay so make sure this this is like html right so we're gonna replace this because our component is doing everything so you know product price oh sorry uh one second uh one second right yeah let me just copy this because we're gonna we are sending the value also right in this component so we are converting that string to number that's why we're getting there right and if you look at the product price here what is that product price you're gonna get that value because that's that is what we are passing right from the card you know value will be this structure here that is a number now we convert it to number if there is a class or something you're passing that is also uh, optional right because you put question mark okay that class name is optional sometimes you, you pass right so we don't know we'll check maybe in the details space right so fine now uh let's look at the our page right how it looks if you go to the home page you can see now right see dollar sign on the top and 95 right cent on the top okay and how that all happened because of this code right class name um this is the design okay that's the dollar int value because of all this class okay that's how it's working right align super align super right and the floating point value so you have the total value dollar sign on the top like left or top right align super because of only this class okay and then the floating point or whatever after point right align super done so yeah so that is all i believe this code is doing job it looks something like this now if there is no point then you just get that this value right 
okay guys let's continue to our next step what is the next thing now so finally the slot page right slot displaying all this in the slot page so let's copy that code and look at that so this is the slot page so i'm just going to remove everything and add now right so we don't have constant we need to create this constant also right let's comment that out for now and import get uh what was that get product right product by slot okay that's fine and then I will explain uh, see right now we don't have variable right the name of the uh what do you call that basically some variable okay let's say app name or something like that right so we can add that somewhere here i have the code let's see in the leave create a constant folder right and add index.ts and add this variable okay this will be useful maybe uh you, you're gonna use all over the place right so we just import from here okay the constants in our leave in the leave folder where is the leave right here uh, let's add one folder called constant constant right and inside we're going to create index.ts and add the code right now so if you look at here what this code is saying right if you have name like next public app name in your env variable right like in the env variable here we can add that okay you can add the name right then it will just take from there okay it will take from there if there is nothing then you have amazon here right amazon okay or same thing for this also right app description also if you have in the uh like in your variable you can get from there else you just use this right if nothing is there right now we don't have so just this will be used right that is all okay that's some variable right and now we can import that so we say import and look at the export right that is the name export okay so we can import it like a app name right from the leave constant variable so when you have index okay in any file right when you have index and there is some export right you don't have to put slash index like that okay index is always the main file inside that folder right and the next yes will recognize that okay automatically right so when you see index and you don't see here importing with index then just remember that that's the reason so first thing right let's say when you display the product okay like when you go to the want to go to the details of the product right you want to see the title you know the page right the title of the page matching to your product name okay for example right uh where is that oh can i move here let's say for example i click this right so that whatever the name here okay it should it should appear on the top here right on the title like we don't have the page i think there is something wrong right we did not get i think it's not working so we get we have see there is 404 error page not found but title should change right so how we get that done so that is a generate metadata right okay so in the metadata this is from the next uh, next yes okay so this function will coming from next yes you know this function will take right uh there is a params property uh slog string right slog string and uh, after that right uh, let's see uh okay so next is get product by slog right and then you pass the param dot Params.slog, right? Okay, and then 
if no products then just return the title not found or you return the product right like that okay so the problem is we did not get the product why we did not get the product uh so there is something wrong with our this function right this function is not working okay this function is not working how are we going to fix that now let's check right so uh let's go back guys uh where is that basically you know get products by slug right so we have all our fu uh, function in our component not in the component in the lib right action okay here this one get product by slug this is the slug right so we pass the slug that means uh okay so sorry guys here params dot slog right params dot slog okay so we are getting that fine so when you click right you have the we we have the parameter okay that is params and from there we're going to get slog right so sluz sluz slog that name is fine now that will return product right and async this function is async fine that is working if no product we can return else so we're going to return uh, basically title right and app name and description okay from this product so that is to generate basically the metadata right for our product uh so why it did not work that's the question you know okay save this right params is a string string that is fine i mean it should work i don't know why i did not write let me uh, let me quickly look at my other code right the one i did earlier just give me a second okay oh my god right what i did i did not record everything okay so i hope this will help right i did not record everything i paused and i forgot to undo right but you guys have you know like listen to me i hope you can figure out right it's not much there okay so if there is any question you can ask right i will stop for now sorry about that